Slack Attack. Boy, yeah, hey, how y'all doing? My name is Major Slack, and thanks for joining me again. Welcome back to the Major Slack Attack, your first off for titillating tactical Tamriel gameplay. And in today's video, I'm going to show you one of the best destruction spells in the game, Ignite. Okay, this is capable of doing, technically speaking, 13,000 damage. What's that? like 13,000 damage. Seriously. Uh, right now, I've got it jacked up to do 27 damage per second for 15 seconds. That's not even the highest you could take. You could take it even higher. And let's see the sucker in action here at Bleakman Basin. Got a couple giants and three mammoths. Let's try this giant here. Watch his health bar. See that? Just melting away and dead. Your turn. Watch his health bar. And dead. <laughs> Nuts, eh? Let's try it on a mammoth. Seven shots. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe my uh, potion ran out. This might not do. Let's see if it does it. And dead. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell, Slack? Yeah, what the hell? Seven shots. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Watch this health melt away. Melting, 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 and dead. Timber! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This might not do, my, my potion may have run out, but anyways. Nope. And dead. Yeah! Ignite spell. Want one? I want one, Slacky. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to get one. And I'm gonna show you how to jack it up to 27 damage per second. It's, it, by default, starts out at 4 damage per second. But you can jack it up uh, to 27 damage per second. Even higher. Even higher. And um, I'm gonna show you how the numbers crunch up to a total of 13,000 damage over a space of 15 seconds. It's nuts. Okay, first of all, what is going on here? This spell, the Ignite spell, comes as a result of the Azadol's Ring of Arcana. Alright, once you equip this ring, you get two spells. One is the Ignite spell, and the other one is the Freeze spell. And I'll do another video on the Freeze spell later on, but for now we're going to focus on the Ignite spell, okay? This is a special ring. You can only get this spell if you equip the ring. Once you unequip the ring, you lose this spell. You must equip the ring in order to get the spell to appear in your destruction spell list. Okay, there's no, no other way to get it. You can't buy the book, you can't learn it. You have to get this ring. How do we get this magical ring, Slack? Well, I'm going to show you right now. Okay, here's how to get Azadal's Ring of Barbecue Meltdown Extraordinaire officially known as Azadel's Ring of Arcana. To get this ridiculously powerful ring, you need 1. The Dragonborn DLC or the uh, Skyrim Special Edition, okay? Skyrim Special Edition, which includes the Dragonborn DLC. 2. You need a build that can take on a regiment of level 30 Draugrs, including plenty of Death Lords, okay? I mean plenty of death lords and if you're playing on legendary difficulty as I am you probably want a build that's even higher than level 30 okay you need to be you, you need to be ready to rock and roll and three you need 11,000 gold what's that slack yeah you need 11,000 gold okay are we gonna get it back um, not really <laughs> you'll be able to loot a lot of good stuff in the place we're going to but no you're not gonna get it back you need to fork out 11,000 gold straight up okay and you're not getting it back okay got all that next head on over to Raven Rock in the Dragon Warden Solstheim map if you've never been there before go to Windhelm stables run east to the Windhelm docks 
find this guy and hire his boat for 250 gold to take you to Solstein. Once in Ravenrock, hike southeast to a place called Kolbjorn Barrow, okay, and find this guy, Raylus Sedaris. Raylus will explain that he's been hired to do an archaeological dig, but he's running short on funds to complete the operation. He needs you to help him out. Agree to give him 1,000 gold, at which point he tells you that he'll contact you in a few days. Wait three days. Wait right at the barrel to avoid dragon spam at Raven Rock. Anybody else getting that? Just like endless dragons spawning at Raven Rock? Totally annoying, yeah. Post a comment if you have. That that happened to me. Anyways, yeah, wait at Ra or not Raven Rock, but wait at uh, Colbyorn Barrel to avoid that. And then fast travel to Raven Rock after three days, and a courier will show up and give you a letter from Raylus asking you to return to Colbyorn. Go back to Colbyorn. Talk to Realis and he'll tell you there's a little problem with the miners he hired. That is, they all died horrible deaths at the hands of some Draugrs, on top of which they came up against a dead end in the barrel. He needs you to go into the barrel, kill all the Draugr, and find a way to continue. Alright, so put on your game face, enter Colbjorn Barrel, wipe out all the Draugr in the first chamber. You'll then find a skull sitting on top of a pressure plate on a kind of like table altar like thingy there. Remove the skull to open a door to the northwest. Go through the door and grab the Azadal's Boots of Water Walking. Okay, you're going to need these. By the way, this is not a walkthrough of getting all six Azadal pieces. Okay, there are many more pieces of Azadal's gear you can find in Colbjorn Barrel. This is not a walkthrough of that. Okay, a complete walkthrough of that is coming later on this channel. Okay, very soon. But for now, we are only concerned with getting Azadal's Ring of Arcana and anything that can help us get the Ring of Arcana and any gear that will help make the Ring of Arcana more powerful. All right, that's all we're after. All right. Once you got the boots of water walking, exit the barrel and return to Rayless. Now he wants 2,000 gold to continue. Don't ask why. Just surrender to the fact that he's got you by the short and curlies. This is non-negotiable, okay? This is non-negotiable, people. Just cough up the cash so you can continue. Now it's the same deal. Wait three days, fast travel to Raven Rock. A courier gives you a second letter where once again you're asked to return to Colbjorn Barrel. Return to the barrel and talk to Raylus. Raylus proves to be about as useless as two tits on a bull. Um, <laughs> because once again, a bunch of his hired hands got slaughtered by the Draugr. And the rest ran off in terror. Okay, 3,000 gold down the drain. Your mission is to enter the barrel again and kill more Draugr and find the missing miners. So, enter the barrel, return to the chamber where you found the water walking boots to discover it's been dug out now. And there's a tunnel down below leading to the northwest. Enter this tunnel, follow it to the end, pull a chain opening a door on the right, and kill a death lord and then pull a second chain to open a passage to the southwest. Follow the passage to the southwest until you come upon a door with four switches beside it like this. Pull the switches in this order to open the gate beside it. One, two, four, and one again. Okay, that's one, two, four, and one. Pull them in that order and the gate will open. Go up the stairs and kill some more Draugr to complete your new objectives. Before leaving, take note of a miner named Morelli laying on a circular kind of ornament on the floor. Okay, Morelli. Remember that, okay? Now, exit the barrel and return to talk to Raylus. Now, he wants 3,000 gold. Holy mother of Xanathar, this sucker's bleeding you dry, yeah. Well, no choice, money talks, dragon dung walks, fork over the Robert De Niro, and it's rinse repeat time. That is, wait three days, fast travel to Raven Rock, meet the courier, and he gives you another letter asking you to meet Raylus once again at Colbjorn Barrel. Return to Colbjorn and talk to Raylus, and surprise, surprise, more death more mayhem and more destruction. Looks like all our 3,000 gold bought us was a few survivors. So, back in the barrel you go. Return to the room where you found Morelli. Remember Morelli laying on the circular ornament on the floor? Continue on until you find an iron door that opens up to a long set of stairs going down. As you enter, it will trigger a rock trap which will help kill some Draugr coming up the stairs. Follow the stairs to the bottom and then up to your right to enter a large chamber filled with a whole bunch of pressure plates on the floor. Kill all the Draugr in this room and then quickly run over all the pressure plates to open an iron gate on the northeast side. Go to that gate, put on your water walking boots and walk across the little pool 
to a pedestal to pick up, drumroll please, Azadal's Ring of Arcana. Ta-da, yeah, there it is. This is all you really need, but if you want to add a couple of extra points of damage per second to the ring, you should complete this quest. Exit the barrel, talk to Raelis, wait three days, fast travel to Raven Rock, and meet the courier one last time who hands you a final letter from Raelis, which simply says, you're needed. Gee, I wonder where and why. So, return to Colbjorn Barrel to find the place is deserted. No Raelis. WTF. So, what do you do? Well, to continue, enter this tent and pick up the Journal of Raelis, Sidaris, Volume 23, okay? The Journal of Raelis, Sidaris, Volume 23. This will complete your current objective and give you a new one. Find Raelis. And Raelis is in the very depths of the barrow. Enter the barrel and return to the pressure plate room where you found the Ring of Arcana. Continue through the door to the northwest, down the stairs, go past the bottom of the rock trap stairs you came down earlier, and into a new area with some circular stairs in the floor leading down, covered by an iron gate. You'll also find some pillars on the northwest side. Set both pillars to hawk, or eagle, or whatever you call it, set both pillars to the bird thing, okay, to open the floor trap and go down the stairs. At the bottom of the stairs, you find a ramp leading up to the southwest. Go up the ramp and get ready to rock and roll, as you'll be facing a ridiculously tough dragon priest named Azadol. Yep, yeah, there he is. That's the dude. That's the main dude, Azadol. Uh, Azadal, by the way, has 50% fire resistance, so whatever you go up against him with, don't use fire. It's not going to do any good, okay? Once you defeat Azadal, loot his ashes for the Azadal Dragon Priest Mask, which gives you 50% fire resistance and 25% more damage to your fire spells. That's it. You're all done. You have everything you need. Now, like I said, that was a very quick walkthrough of Colbjorn Barrel, uh, focusing just on getting the Ring of Arcana. Uh, there are numerous other Azadol pieces you can get. The Azadol Helm of Vision, the Azadol Gauntlets of Warding, the Azadol Armor of Retribution, uh, the Azadol Ring of Necromancy. I think that's about it, but I'm going to cover all that completely in a complete and totally detailed walkthrough of Colbjorn Barrel coming up here on Major Slack attack soon okay very soon all right for now um oh yeah and there's one more thing you can decide whether to spare or kill uh Raelis, and uh, that will be covered in the complete walker as well right for now we've got the ring of arcana and the azadol dragon priest mask that's all that counts Boy, oh, yeah okay here we go we're at the bleakwind basin giants camp this is sorry this is my default kind of like tough guy smell test shooting gallery okay i was using that before let's test this out you have to equip the Ring of Arcana to get these two spells, Ignite and Freeze. Okay, we're testing out Ignite. Ignite does, by default, 4 damage per second. Okay, there we go. 4 damage per second for 15 seconds. Okay, so 15 times 4, that's 60 damage. Let's test it out. Single shot. And that is just not cutting it. You can see that that's not cutting it. We did seven shots before and that giant was dead. That's not cutting it. What we can do is do dual destruction shots. If you do like, like that, two shots at once, we can double the damage. But if you get the dual destruction perk, you can get 2.2 damage, all right? The dual destruction perk is right here. Destruction dual casting, okay. Spell overcharges the effects into an even more powerful version. Exactly what it does is it's 220% damage. Okay, instead of 200% damage, without the dual destruction perk, that's what that looks like. With the dual destruction casting perk, he brings his hands together and... Now we're doing 220% damage. A little better, but he still looks nowhere near dead. In fact, we're going to be dead in a moment. Tell you what, let's add augmented flames. Here we go, destruction skill tree. 
up to augmented flames get both ranks you require destruction up to level 60 to get this this will increase fire spells by 50 percent okay fire fire spells will do 50 percent more damage so that's uh default four 50 percent is two add that on that's six now if we do dual destruction let me just do the math here six times 2.2 .2 equals 13.2 damage okay 13.2 damage per second if we do dual shots okay here we go one two three four five six seven a little better a little better he's still not dead <laughs> He's still not dead. It's like, yes, I know. He's still not dead. Okay. There is another perk in the Illusion Skill Tree called Aspect of Terror. Okay. Fear, fear spells work on higher level opponents. This also gives a bonus to all fire spells since all fire spells have a kind of an aspect of fear to them. All right. This, this will give you an extra 15 points damage to all fire spells. All right, so what are we doing now? Six, six points of damage per second. So if we get Aspect of Terror, swing it on over here. Okay, I have everything I need. I have the perk points. I have Illusion up to 50. Aspect of Terror, get that. Now let's check it out. Destruction, Ignite. Now we're doing a whopping 21 points per damage per second. Okay, <clears throat> 21 points of damage per second. 21 times 2.2 .2 for dual dual destruction equals 46.2 damage per second for 15 seconds. Okay, let's check it out. Do the smell test. One, whoops. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven. Aim slack. And you can see the giant's health bar. See it melting away there? I can't look at him because I'm running away in total fear here. He is down for the count. Took him down to within an inch of his life. Okay, once again, we have Destruction, Ignite, doing 21 damage per second for 15 seconds. Let's try a Fortified Destruction Potion. Here we go. Now I've got some pretty wicked alchemy gear happening, so I can make 69% fortified destruction potion potions. Gobble one of those down. Now we're doing 25 damage per second for 15 seconds. Try out the smell test. There we go, seven shots. And as you can see, his health bar is melting away. Melting, 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 and dead. Boy, yeah. Mission accomplished. But we can bump it up even further. One hand on you. That should do him in. Yeah, we can bump that up even further by putting on Azadal's Mask of Destruction, okay? This increases, this only applies to the base damage, okay? So fire spell damage is increased by 25%. All we're going to get is, I think it's plus two, so let's check it out. Put that on. Yeah, now we're up to 27 damage per second, all right? There we go, seven shots, smell test. He's not gonna make it. You're not gonna make it, buddy. No, that's it, so there we go. Down he goes. What's going on here, Slack? What's going on here? What's going on is the damage is stacking. Okay, let's try taking a potion of fortified destruction again. Here he comes. Got our damage on the next spell up to 27 damage per second. Once again, 2.2 .2 damage. 
is 59.4 if I recall correctly 27 times 2.2 that's for dual destruction equals 59.4 damage per second now watch this health bar it doesn't appear to be moving very quickly does it nowhere near what happens when we pile in seven shots when you pile in seven shots his health bar just just runs down like he's leaking from all orifices <laughs> see that's nowhere near like see let's try this again now let's try we'll take a potion of fortified destruction once again 27 damage per second do dual destruction one two three four five six seven now watch how fast his health bar ramps down that's nowhere near what's happening when we just do one shot so obviously the damage is stacking it's stacking the damage is stacking one on top of the other Take a potion of fortified destruction. This is 59 damage per second. This is double that. This is triple that. This is quadruple that. This is quintuple that. This is sextuple that. This is seven tuple that. <laughs> Whatever that is. That's why you see it starts out slow, but then all of a sudden it starts ramping down very quickly. That's that's what's going on. The damage is stacking. Now how much does it stack? I don't know. I haven't been able to find any hard information on that whatsoever. Um, but uh, let's say it stacks indefinitely. Okay, let's just assume it stacks indefinitely. Technically speaking, um, we're only limited by how many shots we can pile in in a 15 second time span. So, uh, the spell cast time is officially half a second, but nobody, I don't think any human being can achieve that. I've tried it. I can get 15 shots in in a 15 second time span. Let's just try it right now. Um, take a full push on fortified destruction. I'm going to see how fast I can do 15 shots. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There we go. That's how long it takes. <laughs> he doesn't even survive 15 shots. That's how long it takes to pile in 15 shots. I, I'm going to have to watch the video back to see how long that took. But I did several tests and it takes me approximately 15 seconds. So once again, let's do the math here. Let's say you kept up a barrage of like that. Okay. You could potentially be doing what it was a 27 times 2.2 damage for dual destruction that's 59.4 times 15 seconds okay and you stack that's 891 damage total okay and you're stacking that up 15 times on top of one another so times 15 equals 13,365 damage in a 15 second time span and once you got to the 15th, 15th shot, if you kept up that barrage, that's how much damage you'd be doing every 15 seconds. <laughs> 13,365 damage in 15 seconds. Yeah, it's like, it's phenomenal. It's nuts. It's absolutely nuts. So yeah, Ignite Spell, you want one of these. You definitely want one of these. So that is my story and I'm sticking to it. Now it's down to 22 damage per second because the uh, Fortified Destruction spell ran out. Yeah, that's it. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. I want to thank you all very much for watching. It's not much on, in the looks department when you have the Azadol mask on, but hey, you know, who cares? When you're whacking enemies at that rate. <laughs> Hey, I want to thank you very much for watching. And if you thought this video was remotely entertaining and or informative, hey, you know what to do. That's right. Like fave, comment, and subscribe to get all my videos hot off the press. All right, see you next video.